Has the day finally come where the world will live in peace and harmony? The day where feuds over whose plastic box is better will finally be over. The day that Xbox and PlayStation will be able to play cross-platform. Well, not quite. In a recent interview with IGN, Sony's global sales marketer Jim Ryan weighed on the idea of the PS4 becoming cross-platform compatible. Jim said, and I quote, There's been a lot of noise about this recently, but our position has always been that we're receptive to this. It's something we've been doing for many years now. We're completely open to this. It's really down to the developer and publisher of a certain game to come and talk to us, and we're ready to have that conversation. So while this may make it look like Sony is really ambitious and trying to get cross-platform multiplayer out there to gamers, this quote is a tad bit misleading. The examples cited in the past were only relative to the PlayStation Network, like transferring characters between consoles in GTA. However, the most prominent example of cross-platform multiplayer involving Sony is the highly acclaimed Rocket League, where PS4 players can join and play matches with their PC counterparts. But this feature lacks support between the Xbox and the PlayStation. The developer of Rocket League, Psyonix, said that they could get cross-platform play for Xbox and PS4 within quote-unquote a few hours if Sony gave them the okay. The facts just don't add up. So once again, it falls to the hands of Sony holding back cross-platform gaming in this sense. Now obviously Microsoft has to do their part too, but in the past Microsoft has called out Sony on their lack of cross-platform play, as they venture into connecting the Xbox and the PC more and more. Sony currently has the edge on casual gamers, with the PS4 demolishing the Xbox One, and keeping that monopoly to themselves may be a reason we won't see cross-platform gaming between consoles today. Why would Sony allow cross-platform gaming if they're raking in cash anyway? Yet, the benefits of cross-platform are too big to deny. Firstly, it increases the player bases on matches, it allows for better matchmaking. But more importantly, it will increase the life cycle of games because there will be a larger pool of players across platforms to play with each other, and matches will be able to consistently be good the older and older that games get. Most importantly, cross-platform games allow gamers of whatever console or computer to share the joy of gaming with their friends, unrestricted by whatever platform they bought. Nowadays, one of the biggest factors in choosing a console is whatever your friends have, which is likely why Sony doesn't want cross-platform gaming to exist, because they're doing quite well right now by people buying consoles based on whatever their friends have, which seems to be a PlayStation 4 at this point. Will we see these two consoles playing with each other in the near future? It's very possible, and both companies seem to say that they want to do it, it's just that they haven't taken the steps to do it. For now, we are starting to see the sort of baby steps for these companies, they're kind of getting the idea of how cross-platform gaming is going to work. We have games like Rocket League, we have games that are allowing you to transfer your character data to different consoles, uh, games working better between uh, certain consoles and the PC. It's really starting to get there, we're starting to see that cross-platform gaming is really in its infancy right now. Anyway guys, this has been Wumbo. Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video and let me know what your thoughts are on uh, in terms of cross-platform gaming. Uh, anyway, I'll catch you next time.